So this is another video for Spartan Society to the Battle of Luctra, again looking at Spartan cultural life and in this video we're looking at the Greek writers views on Sparta and focusing on two historians in this short snippet, Plato and Aristotle and the reason we're looking at these two together is because Plato was Aristotle's teacher. Uh, so we can see the two there, obviously Plato is not in the syllabus but we've added him in here because it just adds a bit more depth to our response uh, and demonstrates that we know more than, um, than necessarily is needed in the syllabus. Um, Plato doesn't tell us much about Sparta, but I think he's, he's an important one to include just to add that little bit more depth. So if we go down to Plato, we'll have a look at the, him first. So his work that he wrote was called The Laws, and he focuses a little bit on Sparta here. He's writing in the 4th century BC, that's at the time after Sparta had defeated Athens in the Peloponnesian War, and he would have seen that happen. Uh, so he was fascinated by Sparta's government, um, as I think many people would have been at the time, and he thought it was probably not a bad model for government for a Greek city-state. And he also believed that Sparta was probably victorious over Athens as a result of their austerity, their focus on discipline, and the fact that they, they had a good order of government in the way that their government was established and the people uh, worked for the state, etc. Uh, the issues that we have with Plato is that he bases most of his work on Thucydides, and that um, he's attempting to present a model for um, his ideas about politics and he's using Sparta to do that, so that might have an impact on, on what he's writing and how he's writing it. Uh, moving straight into Aristotle, who is his pupil, he writes the politics and he wrote in 4th century BC and uh, the fact that he's a, a, studio, a student of Plato means that he's going to be influenced by as it is, so that's a problem in itself. Uh, he too, like Plato, was influenced uh, by Sparta, uh, was sorry, intrigued by Sparta's government. He thought that was uh, really interesting that, because it was so different from most other Greek city states, so that's why he wrote about it. And he particularly liked the, the rule by the few, the oligarchical nature of it. Uh, however, he wasn't afraid to criticize Sparta either, and in fact, he disliked the land ownership system. He thought that wasn't a very good idea. He didn't like how much freedom the Spartan women had, in, particularly in comparison to the Athenian women, and he didn't like the, the focus on military training. Uh, another issue that we have with Aristotle's writing is that it's in a period where Sparta was falling into decline, so it doesn't always reflect what Sparta was like during the height of its power. Uh, 